Welcome back. All right. Looks like another slug cruiser. These are. This is a popular model. All right. Let's put points here. I would like some points there. Hmm. All right. That is the one problem with the Defense Drone Mark II. It requires four power levels instead of two. Though, I hope we will find that it is much more capable than the previous version. Cloaking! Hey! The thing shot down too! That's a uh, pretty darn good. Alright, so sensory is useless because we're in the flip nebula. Wait a sec. Beth, you gain the doors, you be in the sensors, and that way we can have somebody who's. We can avoid using the. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, Beth, we need to turn on our sh. Why do we have shields in the first place? They're not using anything that does damage to shields. So. We are just going to get every crewman in there to fight the fire. There's a breach there, isn't there? Yeah, GTFO. Um, right. Let's cloak. Oh! The artillery beam doesn't seem to interfere with the cloak at all. That's interesting. Beth is getting pretty darn close to being a very good repair monkey. Beth hangs out with Mantis in the medbay. Okay. Um, alright, we should have also breaches better than... Oh dear. Brace! Why weren't you flippin' shooting things? Oh dear. Well, you... We're gonna put all our repair credit in you. Here we go. Okay. A powerful battleship is being constructed by a pirate clan. Before the ship is finished. Hmm. Okay, where's the fire? Ah, that's the fire. Okay, well, let's see if we can't actually go ahead and vent that area. Is the oxygen on fire? No, it is not. Okay. I no longer hear the fire noise, so I'm going to assume the fire is out. Everyone, back to your stations. Kevin and Justin need to head to the med bay. Coffee. Alright. This is a nebula tech. This is quite a nebula area, isn't it? Right, how do we... I think we have to go down, then up, then over, then down, then loopy loop, and do spin. Yes, this works, probably. We can take him if it comes to that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of slug-based things are 
made it much more convenient when you've got a slow crewman. Good thing we keep Kevin around. Um, so we've got a burnout opportunity, maybe. Hmm. <coughs> Breach will destroy two layers of shielding, and we've established that the best possible beam is through here, and that'll hit tons and tons of compartments. So, let's get our weapons ready. Shields up to full. It's very unlikely that these things will be timed correctly, and they'll be able to hit all three shots in order for the halberd beam to even do one layer of damage. So, I'm not scared of that at all. Let's get our breach bomb. One, two, three, four, five... This is the best possible route for the fire beam. Good. We completely destroyed their shielding. That is excellent. I would like to... Okay, so we've established that the medical bay and the shielding have all fires put out, so we need to fix that. Alright, looks like those two crewmen have decided that they do not want to deal with the fire. They put out one layer of fire, you can tell because they turned. Now we just need to spread the fire around the ship. Send it over there. Yeah, run away, you skunk. Alright. I Oh, fire's intruding from the shield section. Actually, let's just leave it on auto fire and light fires here. Alright. Well, you're not going to be powering up your FDL when the... Oh, there's a fire here. Alright, the one slug is dead, so the only thing left to do is set fire here. Hopefully, the slugs will die before their oxygen or weapons are completely destroyed and we lose the ship. There we go, yeah! Never been so excited to light slugs on fire. Alright. Moving right along. Hmm. Biggest coin toss of the game. Alright. Alright, I'll, I'll roll with that. Got our healing beam. That's good. So the plan is to go up around there. Hopefully we find a store before we go and attack the, um... Alright. Let's turn on our... Oh! Interesting. Well, that's a three-shot laser. We do need our oxygen. I don't think we need cloak. Um... How low do we need this to be? Alright. So now we have a... I betcha! that they don't get more than two hits on us consecutively. That's the bet I'm making right now. Alrighty. Let's see if I've screwed up horribly. 
Oh, they got a little drone running around. Okay, Elm. Good luck. Elm's doing all right. Ion to the oxygen. Right, it appears their medical bay is now destroyed. So, we can light a fire that runs through their oxygen and their shielding. Fixed up the med bay. Three shots. Okay. Alms doing excellent work. Well, you're not going to get much done with your engines completely destroyed. Let's continue having the fire be spread along that path. We don't need our breach bomb anymore. We can devote that to our shielding. And let's set it on modifier. Okay. Ah, he died in the fire before he could even get anything done. That is extremely entertaining. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're going to die before... Yep. We took how many points of haul damage? Three? That turned out to be completely not worth it. Alright, um... I hope there's a store over here so we can... Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. Um, take the power out of fire beam, hole repair. One. Two. And jump. Alright. Um, let's turn on our defense drone. He's got one laser, which means we only need one shield point. Um... All right, let's do this. So the reason why I think that the, um, the reason why I think it's fair to use the hull repair drone in that manner is because you are um, forcing yourself to use the hull repair in the next fight as well. So, you're not actually, you're actually sacrificing quite a lot to use a hull repair drone to get free repairs out of your drones, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Fixing things and fixing things. Look at how quick it goes. At some point, I think we're going to actually be able to, um... Get all of our guys with maximized repair. And at that point, we might even be able to shuffle them around and get them experience in things that they are not actually meant for. If that makes any sense. Like, um, we could get Pipaluk to be better at weapons. Which is, of course, a... Hmm. That would actually be a th problem, because we'd have to be shuffling him around. Because we don't always use our weapons. And he is a reactor point, as well as a crewman. Let's look at our ship. Hmm.
we could go in for another layer of engines. Get an engine and a power. We could... Um... I don't know what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna leave it in reserve in case we need it later. Or in case a need is made apparent to me. <sighs> you know, three is rather tempting, but I think I'd rather fight Mantis because... No, down two. Hmm. We got three missiles in reserve. They're gonna send us some guys to play with. Let's be prepared to greet them. Why can't you? You're a defense drone mark too. I thought you were better than that. That is so annoying. Hmm. <sighs> Let's finish him off. I have no qualms whatsoever about killing slugs like that. Number of times they've been dishonest, really. I don't really care for them anymore. So now we have two maxed out repair monkeys and we can begin putting um, repair points on um, Felicity here. Alright, now I think I can actually go in and trade some drone points for some hull points straight out. Well, aren't you a productive little guy? And I think after this I will um, go ahead and jump. Okay. The store's right there. Let's see what's in there. We might be able to get... Well, we're full up on primary systems. Another fire beam. Interesting. Advanced FTL network. That's allows the ship. That could actually be useful, particularly with this mod. Um, I think we're just gonna go in for some more missiles, and then let's look at our ship. Store, fix the hull. Ship, put the missile drone in for the hull repair. Um, turn on our shielding again. I think I'd like to put points into. I don't know. I really don't know what I should be doing. Intruders on board. Well, um, you're about to get mantis. We've got enough missiles as well to do this, this, this. Oh, they turned off our med bay. That's mildly inconvenient. Therefore, we're not even going to engage the crew with the crew. Hmm. 
Smell bombs on. Wait. Justin, get in there. Charge the weapons faster. One, two. You know, I do that often enough that I shouldn't be surprised. But I'm surprised that the AI was able to pull it off so effectively. This time around, we're going to wait for them to cloak, as they tend to do, and then... We're going to use our bombs after the cloak. Let's put the fire through... Um... It's one point of there. I'd rather get. It. I'd rather touch the door so that we can start burning through them. I think that's our best option. Wait, why? Why are their shields up? Did only the here, Felicity? You could go here. I'm very confused. Alright, that was a breach. We're running out of bombs. Fortunately, they have no capability of actually hurting me, so I'm not scared of them. Let's use the breach bomb. No sense spending bombs on. Alright. How do we get both tiles of healing and... Alright, well, I think that's the best we can do. And we'll just have to follow up with this way. <sighs> that cloak is inconvenient. And fire. Fire! Yes! <laughs> I think that we need to fire on that position as often as possible. Really? I'm done with this. They're too good at fixing stuff. We're just gonna kill them. Kill them! Alright. When did I take a hull damage? Really sucks to be you guys. Like, really incredibly, it sucks to be you. You have no capability of breaching my shields. And in fact, your ion beam, the only chance you had. And that was a... Uh... So, I'm bad at math. But they needed to pass a 48% check eight times in a row in order for me to take any damage from their halberd beam. Um, I'm not sure what the math on that is, but I know that it is an ex a, frankly, absurdly low number. Ion Storm. We can manage. Let's go after ammo. Okay, Rockman. We need one layer of shielding to stop this ion charge. We need as much of this and this and this as we can afford. 
now we actually have the option to use a missile drone. Okay, everything, I think this is our optimal situation. That was a very powerful first hit because it managed to take out their piloting. And done. Well, we got a missile. That's nice, I guess. Right, are we ready to take on the big ship here? I think so. I think we can manage this. Let's do it. <coughs> oh, it's a little, um... It's a little bitty, um, flagship. Ooh, that is a, um, ion drone, isn't it? Oh. Right. Darn. Oh, dear. Let's get our mantis together. That is a, um, large number of guys in my ship. No, 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 no. Next time I am quick enough to react, we're going to turn on our shielding all the way. Uh. Right. Um, you get over here. You get out of there. Get to the medical bay. Hey, we're actually going to be able to kill some crewmen out of this, because my mantis are going to be able to outfight those, um... Outfight the... Guys. You know those guys. Those guys. <laughs> yeah, you can't, um... Can't tell cloak out of a, um... Alright, when they come out of cloak... Wait, why did they... Of all the places they could have gone, they went right into the area that they knew was decompressed recently. So we're gonna... Cloak, and just avoid this. Now, my Mantis crewman will attack the borders and be able to soundly defeat them. There we go. Run out of crewmen there, bub. <sighs> Having two mantis in a ship where very few, where almost all the compartments are, um, almost all the compartments are two slots is a very helpful thing. I am glad that it worked out that way. Alright, let's get Beth in here. And fixin'. Just in time for the... well, that volley didn't matter. The next volley will. They have a defense drone which means our missile drone will be useless. However, we might be able to get our own defense drone to help. Yep, time to cloak. <laughs> this is a really intense fight. Um, I think it'd be more intense if they had um, all four of those lasers be the five-shot versions. But it's pretty darn scary, this fight. Hey, check that out. They can't repair their drones because they've got um they've got two 
because they've got two, um, whatchamacallits, defense drones in there. Well, that doesn't matter right now. Let's get our defenses fully set. Next time, let's cloak out of this damage first. The defense drone's not actually doing all that much against the lasers. Like it's every now and again it manages to get a pot shot in, but in general, it's not. There we go. Fourteen scrap out of it. What? What the? Um. Okay. Um. Now we are capable of putting. <laughs> oh man, that is. That's really something. Let's see you do it. Yep. It's a. It's a Mark II defense drone, but it requires only two power slots. That is. Darn impressive. Cool. Okay. Intruders. Oh, looks like we're gonna have a Zoltan party. Run, run, as fast as you can. Actually, I don't think you can survive this fight, so we're going to get you out. Um, I don't like it when they explode on my dudes. It's not nice. Let's get our bombs. I think we can actually go for a crew kill this time around. Right. The borders have been destroyed. Which means Justin is free to go back to his station. No, just because this tickles me. I'm immensely entertained by this thing. Um, right. Put a breach charge here. We will hold a small bomb in reserve. And then, because auto fire is a, yeah. I think this will hit the two compartments we actually care about, which would be shielding and medical. And we're just going to consistently keep those two sectors on a fire. Oh wait. We don't have to. It's breached. So they're not going to even bother keeping that thing operational. Right. I find this pretty funny. Okay. Now then, we can set fires there. And finally, we need to scourge that. Hopefully, we will... Yeah, we will be able to destroy the crewmen before we... Hey, Matthew! Matthew, you suck. Go away, Matthew. So we're just gonna watch it burn. One. Two. And three. It's my opinion that if you can manage that, you should get extra scrap. Let's get our hull repair drone here. Turn you off, turn you on. So it seems to me like the advanced weaponry is just the standard... the level 2 weapons, but with less power requirement. Let's collect the whole set, as a certain marine would say. <sighs> K. 
Okay. Two shots, so we only need this much shielding. We... Ooh. That was a massive oversight on my part. I failed to get my crewmen healed up. So you guys are gonna heal. Whoa! You skunks! Run! Alright, well... We didn't kill him! Darn it! We've got seven missiles. Things are just about done charging, and they have a total of one engineer, who I believe will actually be sent to us on the next jump. Next time they jump. And I'm perfectly happy to meet that. Right, they're attacking our engineer. We'll let the engineer fight a little bit. Now, get to the med bay. You two get in. Well, that's a good thing the engineer's already headed there. Darn it! We did not manage to, get to kill the boarding crew. So, we're gonna have to do this explodey way. Oh. They managed to disable some of our weapons. That's inconvenient. What's inconvenient for them is they've got two mantis working on it, and as we've established, mantis are useless when it comes to anything mechanical. Why would anyone target the... Why would anyone target the sensors while we're fighting in a nebula? Actually, we can let you get the repair credit because, um... Wait, that was my bomb that missed just now. We got three left. Hope. Oh, no. Their engineer's on the job. Um, you got some repair credits. Let's get our whole repair drone. Wait. You are not a missile drone. Why are you not a missile drone? That was stupid of me. Um. Alright, return to stations. Because if they come back, I'd like to, um have my doors working. My two mantis are fully healed, that's good. Oh good. Two hundred and eighty seven. I'm running out of things to put to spend that on. Wait, what if what if I do this? Oh, that's what happens when I do that. Okay. You guys leave, you guys enter. And because I'm pretty sure you just took light damage from... Okay. Everybody back to their stations. Let's get... Autopilot. And... Some... All my subsystems. Let's upgrade that. Now, we're going to do all that after we hit the store. The store might have something worth having, and it's only two jumps out. Maybe a shield recharge booster. Alright. <laughs> Alrighty. I was not aware that the whole repair drone had any such options, but I am... Glad 
that they do. Let's put a third shield level up and get our... What can all, what all can we do right now? We have one engineer. Shields. We got three missiles. Don't, we can't play that risky game. You, hang out here. That is a not... They're, um... Not particularly good with their, um... Teleporter. They don't have much invested in it, do they? Oh wait, that's a three level. We managed to kill them with a three level teleporter on their ship? That's darned impressive. Alright. Let's see what happens when the Rockmen... I hope the Rockmen survive their fight. Mm. <coughs> there we go. Well, the Rockmen, being jerks, ran off without saying thank you. Ion defense. This is useless. Like, incredibly useless. I am shocked and astonished and disappointed. Ship. You, 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 you. Right. Now then, let's do a test. Fully powered oxygen, and open a door. Oxygen level is decreasing, but very, very slowly. Six. Alright, now we can actually do a test. Does having two doors open increase? Oh yes, it does! Alright, let's see how quickly it comes back. Oh, what?! <laughs> I am unreasonably entertained by that. I've entertained an unreasonable amount. Asteroid field. All right. Well, we certainly got enough um, reactor points and things to invest them in for this particular um, fight. Let's launch a breach missile. <laughs> Man, the asteroid field itself is wrecking them. Like, I'm not even doing anything to them, and they're just getting wrecked. Alright. Hopefully that'll drain the oxygen out of that compartment more quickly than they... Oh. Well... I suppose every plan has a flaw. And mine was, I failed to... Um... Failed to turn off the artillery beam. Ah, well. Let's see. We can... Oh. Alright, we, we can hit every beacon on this sector anyways. It's not owned by the squishy ones. No, it is not. However, we are a lot scarier than the squishy ones. Let's... We should have gotten a missile drone. Why do I keep forgetting to switch out for my missile drone? Alright. We're gonna need more points in our 
healing bay. Let's get you guys over here. You can hang out here. Instantly full health. <laughs> hey, Ohm got that credit. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right. Let's take the point out. Though I suppose we got enough reserve, we don't even really care. Hmm. Yep, that's why you should stick to fighting squishy ones. You stupid bugs. Mm. Alrighty. Let's see. We're gonna end up with a massive collection of scrap, nothing to spend it on, aren't we? I think that's what's going to happen. You know, we might as well upgrade this another two points because we've just got so much reactor juice to play with. Alright, so we have to go this way and then get down. And then go over and then up. Right. Intruders on board! Well, let's go ahead and use people who do not normally get to fight. You two. Oh, they're mantis. Right. All hands on deck. You and you hang here. You hang here. You two, run away. You two, in. You two, on station. You two, return. You two, run away. You two, in. You two, on station. Oh man. Um. Okay, got him. Alright, well, Ulm, you are going to be a bona fide Zoltan monk before you know it. Let's get you guys over here. I really like the sound of all the doors opening and closing as people move through the ship. It's just fun to me. Alright. You guys are on station. And we can move. Uh, let's use the blue option. Having a slug around opens up a lot of blue options, but you never want to have more than one. Because it's just... Huh. I haven't seen number four yet. So... That was... they gave us missiles. Okay. I can, um... Forgive their stinginess, because we got missiles out of the deal. Um... Hmm. Let's save the mantis, because... You know... Why not? I'm sure they're just misunderstood. Right. Breach it. Two tiles of you, three tiles of you. 
Let's do this thing. Oh, wait. No! <laughs> I always forget to turn off the artillery beam. See, this is the problem with having so many... Um, yeah, it was in a asteroid field anyways. Wait, so there was over 40 scrap there? Huh. Alright. Right. This time, we get to test that plan. Where... Let's get a defense drone. For lols. Phew. Right. All the other compartments will vent slowly. That will vent quickly. We will need to use another bomb here. Because... He's... There we go. We might need to use a third bomb, but I doubt it. We have one on. Let's do it. I missed! Oh no! Um, let's actually just injure him. There. Now he is too weak to finish repairs, and the rest of the ship is just going to suffocate. Okay. Wait, where'd my drone go? Did my drone get shot? Defense drone couldn't defend itself, I suppose. Let's see, how quickly does this happen? Losing about a percent a second? He's been losing a lot more than I have, a lot longer. There we go. Right. Turn on the oxygen. Instantly full. That's a myth. I am immensely entertained by that. Um, let's put another point in you, and then we can have 51% evasion without the cloak. Alright, let's put our defense drone on, and our med bait full. And we're not going to try to burn them out or suffocate them. Or should we? We've got nine missiles. I think we can do it. Let's go for it. No time like the present. Oh, you're gonna fight me in my med bay? Wow, you're an idiot. Alright, um... Let's use Felicity to repair things. Felicity is the new repair monkey in training. I am having a hard time believing that they actually poured it into my... Um, you, you missed. Why did you miss? You okay. Alright, well, let's use both our bombs here. Actually, let's use... Crew damage, 45, crew damage, 30. I want to have the breach be draining. Actually, no, they probably, they have a lot of oxygen, so it won't drain. So I want to use a small bomb, and then I will use a breach once the crewman, oh, well, I'm using the breach anyways. I was going to use the breach as a trap for the enemy crewman, but since that is not a option now. We really want to get that um, NG killed as soon as possible. Hmm. Five shots left on that. 
Right, so breach should. Nope. Missed. Alright, let's get. Hey, you lit it on fire! Cool! Alright, so. Hopefully. That is a very powerful med bay. Hopefully, the shield will be destroyed by the fire, and then we can burn out both tiles, three tiles of med bay, and two tiles of doors. There we go. Yeah, home, you can have a... You can repair that. Oh wait! Are they actually gonna die just from this? That would be immensely entertaining if they died just from this. Let's keep all the tiles of the mid bay on fire. Right. Okay, they have abandoned their med bay. Now, I'm curious, how quickly will the fire spread throughout the entire ship? Yeah, you don't want to sit here and watch that. So, we're just going to burn out their various systems one by one as the crewmen are using them. Oh, is that one achievement? Some men just want to watch ships burn? Absolutely true. Actually, we're just gonna let the fire spread, because... Ah, he fell apart. Poor little Engie. Mantis is fighting the fire now, and he's dead. Borman! Hello, Borman. What do you do? Nothing. Go away. <coughs> You're a boar, man. I'll, I'll see myself out. <sighs> yeah. That is a heck of a lot of scrap. We are very close to having all of our missiles fully set. You two go in, get the heals. Ohm needs to heal. And we are just about done with this episode. Pippola. Well, this has been the Chicken Sniper, playing FTL's Infinite Mode. We managed to kill the pirate battleship, which is pretty darn sweet. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.